So, we are back. Me and you are back together. I missed you. Oh, I missed you. Um, and we have two new guests, Jazz and Yana. Welcome, girls. Hello. And we also have another little guest, Alfie the dog, Aww. Alfie Moo. Girls, welcome to the show. Welcome back to Liverpool, yeah, second spell. How have you found it being back? Is it differ any different to the first time you were here? <laughs> it's good to be back. I think um, when we were here, it was just like up and down, up and down. Now it's just more yeah, steady and yeah. I totally agree with that. I mean, when we were here before, we didn't play our best football. And I think if you're not enjoying it on the pitch, on training, I think it really, like affects your personal life as well. Yeah. You're just not happy. Mm -hmm. So this time it's completely different. We have been out, aren't we? We are. <laughs> and you have a dog. Oh, we have a dog, yeah, proper settled. I think if you're happy, I'm going to flip and go off the pitch. You tend to be better on it. And I think this year everyone seems to be like in their own little bubble off it, which is great. Everyone's happy. And then it's really shown when everyone comes into training and you touched on it, Jan. There's a lot of good people. Yeah, not just yeah. from last season as well, but Matt has brought in the likes of Hughes to Leanne, Katie. He's brought in good people, not just good players as well. Yeah, and I think for me that's the most important thing. I think we've touched on it in past shows. Yeah, that if you're good people, you tend to get the best out of each other, and I think we'll all get on as a group. And I think it's shown. Previously, when we were here, we didn't really go out for coffees, dog walks, things like that. Mm -hmm. But now it was more individuals. Now yeah. it's more a team, and yeah. everyone just get on. It doesn't matter with who you walk to the pitches. Yeah, everyone yeah. just walks with anyone. Yeah, That's we'd nice. go for food, coffee with anyone in the team. Yeah, like yeah. we get on with every single person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I think that's like it's really rare to have yeah. in a team, and it just helps so much on the pitch then. And I think that just yeah. shows that in our togetherness mm -hmm. and how well we're doing at the yeah. moment. Talking about off the pitch, Jan, talk to us a little bit about up cycling. Oh, she thought something. Oh, she's prepared. <laughs> You're so prepared. <laughs> That's excellent. Oh, so we'll pop that on the table, Jan, and like tell us. Yeah, the thing is that if you come home after training, you had a, a bad training session or whatever, and, and you just go out and start making things, it's just put your mind off things, and mm -hmm. you come in the next day fresh in your head. And even if you had a, a good session, then it's, it's even nicer. Still, yeah. yeah. Just something different. So just, just something different. Instagram, Jan, um, what's your Instagram page oh, yeah. called? The Wood Cycle. The Wood Cycle. The Wood Cycle, so. Plug. I like to do it with recycle stuff. Yeah, no, yeah. well, even, even better. So, yes, Lozzy, you've, um, mm -hmm. you've got a shoe rack off Very that. Very nice shoe rack. I'll, I'll send follow the photo the, in. Yeah. Insert photo now. <laughs> I, I actually used to like love building things and stuff. And now, like, Jan's come along and, like, my stuff is just never as good as her. So I've just kind of, like, given up now. And, like, even, like, little things, if a shelf's broken, like, I always used to be the one that, like, fixed, uh -huh. like, literally, Bob Job, like, bam, just do yeah, it. Done. And then, like, things that like, it's not straight, Jazz, or, <laughs> like, it's going to fall down. So I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll just leave it to you. Yeah, but so. you have a Harry. <laughs> she would build a birdhouse. Yeah, yeah. birdhouse, and the floor is gone. <laughs> Jazz. I just don't plan it out, yeah. I just wing it and okay. then it gets to like the that. end and then I'm like, okay, this doesn't fit. So, and then I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, what are you doing? Good team though. Yeah, yeah. good team. It worked. Have you got any projects at the minute that you're working on? No, I promised Jazz and Mum to make an oak table. So I have like a massive okay. raw oak slab. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been promising a while to finish that, but I found a better oak slab in Belgium, so I started upcycling there. Uh -huh. But it's still there, so just need to bring it over. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. to and be continued on that one, yes. <laughs> insert photo, maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> and the oak slab will still be the oak slab. <laughs> I know, and I really need to get on it. Can you just give us a little background on Alfie? Because he's our special guest. I think he needs some some bit of limelight yeah. and attention. Yeah. 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 So to be fair, and I, I never really wanted a dog. Well, not that I didn't want one. You didn't. No, <laughs> no yeah, no, I remember. You actually, I remember you I remember, didn't. Yeah. You didn't want a dog. I was going didn't. on for months and months. Like, please, like we've got our own little house now. Like. There's no reason why mm -hmm. we can't have one. It come to a point where she was like, Jazz, I'm just not ready for a dog yet. I was like, okay. I told you two weeks before you got him. Yeah. We were on the beach and I saw people with a dog and said, no, I'm not ready for it, Jazz. Like, I don't want to, no. And then two weeks later, 
I, Best thing I, that I showed, happened. yeah, I showed Jan a picture of him as a puppy, and I was like, I said, go on. Yeah, look. And she was like, oh, message. Oh, he's cute. Yeah. <laughs> look, he's now in I'm not ready, but he's cute. Mm -hmm. Send a message. Yeah. To be fair, I couldn't go without him no, anymore. No, same. Like, we always, like, explore, like, days off, weekends off. But now we even go out even more than that. Like, mm -hmm. we explore places with you, Fernie. Yeah. Yeah. we yeah. go with you. Yeah. Even if you don't have a dog, but no, you come with us. Along. I'll use my dog for the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's, he honestly is like the best thing. We love him to bits. He's just a massive part of your life, he though, is. isn't he? Yeah. Like, I mean, me speaking from having Bailey, even if you've had a bad training session, you go home and they're wagging the tail. Yeah. yeah. And it's the best thing ever. Is, the love yeah. that they, they give you. And all they want is a little bit of food and a few walks and, yeah. and they're happy. I'm living by myself at the minute, so Bailey has helped me massively and sometimes you like to sit in silence knowing mm -hmm. someone's yeah well i say someone my dog is just sitting yeah. there but yeah. staring like, he's like my child no, really. are you feeding us yes <laughs> <laughs> so no yeah, i can i can 100 relate and just the love that you have for them is just oh honestly like, it's yeah when i go away on international breaks like my landlord who is now my best friend <laughs> yeah. looks after bailey and i've you know got a great friendship with him now mm -hmm. through my yeah. dog. Yeah. 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 And so I think you can build friendships and mm -hmm. something like that. But yeah, you're right. I mean, if I was ever stuck, oh, girls, can you look after mm -hmm. Bailey for an hour? And yeah. everyone jumps to it. Like, yeah. It's well, good. We have the, the Weir family who, when we have away trips, we let Alfie stay there for the night. Right. And she's a dog walker as well. But when she met Alfie when he was a puppy, she was like, yeah, it's fine. Like, you know, if he continues being this good, we'll have him all the time. <laughs> And now they come to every single home game. Oh, yeah. um, it's, a, it's a family. With two, two little boys, um, the mum and dad, and they are there every single... And they're such good friends to us now. Oh, yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. So um, just... we moved up here with, you know, not many no, friends at all, no. just teammates. Yeah. yeah. But now we've got someone outside of football, and it's just really nice. Yeah. I'm sure everyone knows you have recently just been called back up to your national team. Yes, yeah, so I was away. So. I think Twitter went, well, social media went wild, wild. that day. Mm -hmm. I, think, you know, um, I think all the girls posted something and said, oh. bless my team. So, we are a family. Because we're proud of, yeah. we're proud of you. Yeah. We know obviously how much it means. Mm -hmm. Anyone that's kind of represented the country at any age, any level, you, yeah. you, you just know, know what it means yeah, to play yeah. for your country. So after, obviously, having a tag, like, a time out, how yeah. many years was it? It's two years ago and I think two and a half for my last like game. Yeah, for so it. having having a break away you don't you don't often see no. a, a call up after no. you know a couple no. of years. It's, rare, isn't it? it's it's very rare. So I just think that just shows how how well you're doing this season, you know, and it's great to see and I think it was thoroughly deserved a call up. Yeah, so agree. Would you like to just tell us how that was in sunny Spain? Oh, it was lovely. <laughs> she didn't catch the sun, though, did she? Oh, <laughs> I did. My legs are brown and hairy. You, sta you stayed in and recovered. That's, that's what it no, was. No, the thing yeah. is, they're quite strict with sunbathing and stuff. Mm -hmm. What is, is good yeah. kind of way. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it was nice just to be back and see old teammates, friends that you know for years and then... Um, playing internationally again, is, it just gives you an extra boost. Um, yeah. And Anderson was nice too. Extra bonus. Yeah. You just won, didn't you? Belgium won the cup. Yeah. Pins First time in history you won something. Really? So it wasn't bad to be back. It's because you're back. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> you're the reason, Jan. Yeah. Thanks. No, but no. It's, it's credit to you, Jan, because you've had a good season, you've assisted, you've popped up with goals, but it's the, it's the stuff people don't really see, the work rate, and you track them back, and... Like the dirty work. Yeah, which we see every day. Yeah, um, and it's that. You can pay with later, but... No, it was thoroughly <laughs> deserved, mate, and Thank long you. may it continue. You? You went away? Yes. How um, was it in the sun? Wasn't great. Not so great when you were playing. Yeah, not for me. I mean... No, you, you have did. Quite a bit you, of a I think you actually get more tan than me. Mm -hmm. Thanks. But our, our games was in the evening, every free... No excuse. Every, uh, You're training through the day. <laughs> Long sleeves, they have training. <laughs> Skins. Um, so, yeah, like whenever I go away with my national team, I feel like I learn so much. We're constantly evolving as, as, a, as a team, which is, you know, fantastic to be a part of. Um, we played against Switzerland, who last time I played them was on my 50th cap, right? And we got beat 8 1. 
Hey, Scored as I scored. I scored. <laughs> <laughs> so we're nil. <laughs> I mean, we drew the game 2-2 and we were disappointed to draw the game 2-2 mm -hmm. against yeah, Switzerland, good. who yeah, qualify yeah. for most major tournaments. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was, a, it was a very successful 10 days, lots of learning and I think prepares us very well for our massive um, international camp that's coming up in April awesome. against Austria and England. And the summer. So International Women's Day this year, it's all about breaking the bias and stereotypes. How do you feel like that can be kind of combated and conversation can get started with that? I spoke about this the other day when I was speaking to someone and I think for me, you know, breaking the bias, I think it's about having having conversations that are just made normal. Mm -hmm. I got asked the other day, what's it like being a woman in a male-dominated environment? And for me, I'm like, I want women's football to stand alone. I don't want it to be compared. So. Mm -hmm me and you having this conversation now helps break, that, break yeah. that down. So I think, don't be scared to have a conversation because the more conversations we, we have, we're going to help, you know, in five to 10 years time, we're going to help break that bias. We're going to help them conversations just mm -hmm. be normal. You know, I think, Jan, you touched on it um, when we were having a conversation earlier on, we might not then have to have an International Women's Day. You, you've hit the needle on the head. And I think if the more you talk about it, the more normal it becomes. You know, not just in football, I think we have such a big platform to speak about these things and we are role models now to kids and them growing up want to see everything normalised. You know, and we're speaking about football obviously because we're in it, male and female football. And I think you can't, you can't compare it. And I think the more you talk about it, I know we we'll keep going back with it, but the more you talk about it, the less likely people are to think, oh God, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right, and, and actually ha to have to think about it, whereas the more you talk about it, people will just go, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should just be the norm. Yeah. And I, don't, I don't know if you saw, but um, Adidas put some statues up in London. Yes. Um, about 10 important women, mm -hmm. and Midema was one of them yes. as a role model in football, mm -hmm. and I thought that, that was brilliant to see yeah. that. It's just nice that things are recognised these days, that women can achieve things what should be norm, mm -hmm. normal. Yeah and not being like, oh, okay, they can do it too, no. Yeah. I do think we're going the right way. Like 10 years ago, th the difference in football has been massive. I think if you fast forward 10 years late, Ron, I can't imagine how it will be, but it will be 10 times better. Better again. You're spot on, Jan, and I think it's come such a long way, and we probably wish we were a little bit younger, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. just to kind of reap the rewards no, of... I do wish. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do wish, yeah. Probably, yeah, probably about it, yeah. I wish. Have you seen the Champions League final, the women's, the, the sellout? Yeah, it's sold oh, out, yeah. is it? Yeah. That was sold out in like a, a few week days. Or yeah, yeah, it was quickly. Yeah. So that's just another huge it shows. statement, yeah. isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it, it's breaking, breaking down them barriers, isn't it? One that I'm going to touch on is, is female coaches, mm -hmm. um, whether that be in the men's or women's game. Yeah. I think we need more of them. I'd like to go into that when I finish playing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the transition will be made easier. I think it's important that. We, we fight, so I'm fighting now on the pitch, but I'm also going to fight off the pitch to, for more opportunities for women to mm -hmm. be able to go into them jobs because I think if you're qualified, it doesn't matter whether you're a man, you're a woman, if you're qualified for that job, mm -hmm. you should have the chance Absolutely. and the opportunity. So I think having these conversations, we've got to break down them barriers and get, if qualified enough, more women into our industry. So I think, you know, on that in National Women's Day, it's to celebrate those paving the way and leading mm -hmm. the way. You know, it's it's inspiring me and empowering mm -hmm. me to to keep breaking down those barriers mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, change the bias. So. Keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Long may it continue. <laughs> Navy getting 100 caps. Oh, yeah. oh, the gaffer. She's yeah. having a good season as well. She is. Yes. Do you know what? Like she's having a fantastic season. Yeah. She's so consistent and she's really leading better than ever on the pitch Agree. this season. I can't speak highly enough of her. No, she's I... been great for me these last two seasons coming in and she is the ultimate professional and there's a reason why she's got the armband. Yeah. And yeah. I think this season more than ever we've seen it and we are also proud of her. I think like you said before, social media went wild for her. I think sometimes it, it goes a little bit amiss that what she does on the pitch. Her and communication yeah. is just second to none, isn't it? 
she yeah. just helps you through the whole game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, well done to Yeah, I think yeah. you're right though. Do you know? Just natural. Normally, mm-hmm. if you're not yeah. scoring the goals, yeah, your name isn't isn't out there. But I think mm-hmm. us as as players value what what Neve brings. Yes, we've got to score the goals, but without that leadership at the at the back and that authority that she's she's having this season, mm-hmm. we wouldn't be winning games. I don't think you ever shut up either. And getting you back, I think, is massive. Because before you got injured, mate, you were the first yeah. name on my team sheet, you really were. And I think it's the business end of the season and we need the squad. And there's no doubt about it for me, you were you, you are really big miss. Before you got injured, you'd be my, the first name on my team sheet as well. You were, you've, you've been so consistent. Like alongside Nevi, you know, you wouldn't necessarily get the plaudits for that. But I think we really appreciate what you have done this season. So to have you back is a massive boost for us, like just okay. to have that strength and depth mm-hmm. that we have coming into the business end of the season. Yeah. When we need it. I think it's massively us. important. Talking about fans, Arsenal, 2,000 of them there, to be able to sign autographs again, get photos taken again. It doesn't only mean the world to them, it means the world to us because yeah. they come out in their numbers every single week. Even away games, we've had such a following in away games and it's just like a bit of a thank you from us to them that we can go and get photos took and you know, then you get tagged in them on social media and you, you see the comments and you're thinking, God, that one photo does so much. Our two biggest fans. Oh, give yeah. Them a, give them a shout Sue and out. Kate. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, just <laughs> making us flags. And yeah. I love the interaction with them. I, honestly, I could stand and talk to them all day. Yeah. Even this, the songs they sing, it's yeah, like, it's they're incredible, aren't they? <laughs> I, I, like, sing them at home sometimes. I know. Honestly. Like, I'm like, I get the, the words wrong, but, but who cares? Just right, like, right. like, yeah. I do it with my long one, right? But my short one's like, where's your head at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel <laughs> So I'm around in the house and I'm, like, oh. singing to myself. But it's funny it's you great. Because do you find that when you're on the pitch, you don't hear them? I hear it now and again, but so maybe I'm not focused enough. <laughs> no wonder they scored that first goal on Sunday. She was listening to a chant in the crowd. Fans <laughs> like this. The one away game that stands out to me is Crystal Palace. We had more fans than them, not and yet, we, we were did. away. Yeah. And Unreal. I think that got us over the line. I really yeah. do. Yeah, because I think that was the game that I didn't travel. So and it wasn't on TV. I, all I could do was follow on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was Sue actually. Who yeah. Was like oh, you're not here today, like, I'll keep you up to date. Oh. I got a message, Jan's just scored, and I was like, oh, my God, Jan's just scored, <laughs> and then, like, put it in our, like, family group, like, Jan's just scored, and they're like, how do you know? I'm like, oh, like, the supporters cover there, and then they're like, Jan's just scored a second one, and I was like, save some so I can see them, like. <laughs> of all the weeks to do it, you were there. I wasn't there, uh-huh. yeah. So, yeah, they're great, like, even when you're injured and you're not, like, there, yeah. they're, like, still bringing Hi. me... Like, so I'm involved. So good. It's so good. They have helped us massively this season. And I think as well, like, with our, you know, the running we have to the end of the season, Mm -hmm. they're a massive part of the back end of the season for us. And I hope they come to every away game. I hope they come in the numbers Numbers, home because the support, honestly, it means it means everything. Okay, girls, so welcome to the end of the show. And we're just going to have a little bit fun and ask a few questions about how well you know each other. First question, who is Alfie's favourite? Oh, that's so fair. (laughs) (laughs) Alfie, do you want to answer? No. No, he's not, he's asleep. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah! (laughs) (laughs) It's because I've been away for two weeks. No! (laughs) To be fair, Jan, you actually didn't want Alfie, so I'm not surprised he's trying to No, no, I do like it. I do like him now, but the thing is... <laughs> oh, she likes him now. Oh, oh, I'm glad you like your dog. No, no, the thing is, she goes, like, mental with him. I'm like, are you OK? Come here. And she's like... Mm-hmm. You've got the more soft approach where Jazz is like... Yeah. OK, so second question. Who's most likely to lose their temper on the pitch? Oh, I know <laughs> this one. I know this one. <laughs> I've had a moment this season. <laughs> Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Fanny, you're wrong, you're so wrong. It is definitely I jazz. I Did you not think Drinking. that? Oh no. 100 percent You lose your head with refs quite quickly. Yeah. I, I just don't, I don't think I've ever seen you no, see, go wild. Fanny so got my back at one point. I yeah, was telling her with the ref. Explain. And then Fanny came to me and she said, Jan, I will deal with it. And I said, Fanny, I'm not a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right. Jan was obviously getting annoyed at some of the tackles that were flying in. And the ref goes to me, Fanny. One more and she was getting a card, right? And it happened again. I was like, Jan, 
I'll deal with it. And Jan was livid. And I was like, no, Jan, I've got you oh, back. You don't understand. I'm helping you. Yeah. Bernie, I'm not a baby. <laughs> <laughs> In the moment of the game, I just went. The next one, who would make the best manager? Three, two, one. Yay! Really? ka -ching. Why Yana Jazz? I think Just you... because I would hate it so yeah, much. Yeah, that's enough. OK. So I just wouldn't even do it. Right. Last question. If the other person wasn't a footballer, what would they be good at? A list or just one thing? <laughs> Let's go two. OK. Two yeah. things. It would be maybe caring for younger people, for elderly. Oh. And then she, she bloody loves racing in the car, <laughs> so she would be a good racer. <laughs> Hey, you know, here's me, I can see it. I uh -huh. mean, not the racer, because I don't think I've been in your car enough, but take care of people, I can see it. Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah. Jazz? Okay. Something to do with the environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like a zookeeper or uh, looking after animals. I can see it. Um, 100%. Bike. Yeah. I was zookeeper for a year and a half. Yeah. Were you? Were you really? <laughs> when I did my knee injury bad, then yeah. I was out for two and a half years. No way. I studied. I grow in biotechnology, so, Ooh. and then an extra year of animal care, so that's why I end up working. Oh my god, amazing! That is mint. I never knew that. Do you, do you want to know something? Go yeah, on. come on. Each elephant poo 100 kilograms every day. I mean, no. had seven, so 700 kilograms poo every day. My arms were massive. I was going to say you have to scoop <laughs> that. <laughs> come on, yeah. I'm actually blown away that you were a zookeeper. I love that. that. That is a lovely end of the show. Yeah. Lovely. Next time Future we will girls. do it with you two. See how good yeah. you two know I think they'd be good at that. Yeah. 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 Thank you girls, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Legends.